One question that I get asked a lot is, are you going to bring Wizard Wars back? Is Wizard Wars still a thing? Uh, are you guys still going to do Wizard Wars? Of course. Wizard Wars is going to be a thing until I just simply can't type anymore. So MTG Alchemy isn't just me. Um, it's a conglomerate of people. It's Psycho Ballista, also known as Cody. Uh, it's CJ. It's Ruby Rogue. It's uh, Retrograde. There's so many people... Um, that are involved that we're trying to get everybody up and going so that the whole thing can be in a well-oiled machine. But what we have been doing is stuff on Twitch. We've been doing a ton on Twitch, getting everybody up on Twitch uh, so that that way we can you know, interact with you guys and actually be involved in the conversation instead of just posting a video and not being able to really talk to you about it other than in the comment section of YouTube. I'll leave links to all of our Twitches below so you guys can go follow us and you guys won't miss it anything uh, any night of the week. We're doing something every night of the week and we're usually right now we're giving away a ton of stuff. I've got... Oh, we just opened up this Fate Reforged pack the other night on stream and we pulled a Monastery Mentor. So that Monastery Mentor is going to go to one lucky winner on Twitch, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, so we do all kinds of cool stuff on Twitch, and we want to get you know more involved with our community, and, and yeah, it should be a ton of fun. We'll leave all the links in the description here so that you guys can get to any one of our Twitches. Anyway, follow us on Twitch. All right, but what I really want to talk to you guys about today is arena so we've been doing a ton of stuff on arena and we want to start we're mtg alchemy right we're not just i mean we do a lot of commander stuff but we're not just commander we like to mix things up and do things for everybody and all types of people that like all different types of formats so uh so today we're going to be talking about standard arena and i want to show you guys one of the decks that uh, i brewed up with a buddy at my local lgs um I just realized when you say local LGS, it's like saying local, local game store. So we brewed this up at an LGS where I'm from, and this deck is insane. So it's mono blue dredge, and basically you just mill yourself out until you do enough damage to your opponent to end the game. My name is Koi Cook, and this is MTG Alchemy. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is Mono Blue Dredge. Um, so it's called Mono Blue Dredge, but we're running black and red too, but we're not, we actually don't have any red land in the deck at all. But, uh, but anyway, let's start off with, uh, let's start off with what makes the deck, right? So four, we're running four Arclight Phoenix. Arclight Phoenix is a four drop three two, um, flying in haste at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you cast three or more instant or sorcery spells this turn, return Arclight Phoenix to the graveyard, from the graveyard. To the battlefield so um so our the point to the deck is to mill ourselves into uh jump start cards to jump start our arc light phoenixes milling ourselves the entire time um to make these hasty boys come out and you know just swing out for 12 damage if we can get them all in the yard um but creeping chill is another one that helps so when we're milling ourselves Creeping Chills of Four Drop Sorcery. We're not actually planning on casting this, but uh, when it when it gets milled, um, well, let's read it. So Creeping Chill does three damage to each opponent, and you gain uh, three life. When Creeping Chill is put into your graveyard from your library, you may exile it. If you do, Creeping Chill does three damage to each opponent, and you gain three life. So we're just going to mill this into our graveyard from the library and exile it to do three extra damage. And there's four of those. So um, other things that we want to mill too is like Narco Amoeba. Narco Amoeba is a 2 drop 1-1 one, one. Uh, and when it gets put into the graveyard from your library you may put it onto the battlefield. So it's a it's a pretty sweet flyer especially when you don't have to pay for it right. Um, so to keep the deck moving along Drown Secrets will run four of those every time you cast a blue spell which we mostly are you target yourself instead of your opponent. So keep in mind and this feels weird for me and Ruby uh, when we've been playing this deck it's it feels weird to target yourself but trust me you want to target yourself as much as possible because you put your arc light phoenixes in the yard you put your creeping chills in the yard um, and then you know ultimately that if you get all four creeping chills that's uh, 12 damage and 
the arc light phoenix can swing, swing out for 12. Um, so you're doing a ton of damage, right? Um, so the next thing we want to do too, we, so if we draw arc light phoenixes, we want a way to be able to discard them. So we're running four radical ideas. Um, two drop instant it counts towards the um, it counts towards the the three or more instant or sorcery spells from arc light as well. Um, so two drop draw a card. Jumpstart. Jumpstart basically means you can discard a card and play it from your graveyard and then exile it. So, four of those. Uh, two mission briefings, just so we can get some of the lower one drop uh, incident sorceries out to count towards our arc light trigger for combat. Um, four unsummons. Um, so, that way, if you're doing four unsummons, you can target one of their things, and that way, just to get it out of the way, just to hit them for more damage faster. All right, and then we are running Opt. Opt is just a cheap, you know, scry, draw card, perfect spell for Arclight. Um, and then we're running two maximum altitudes. So the original deck list that uh, we were going over um, at our game store here locally, <laughs> there's that LGS thing again, right? Um, so we originally just decided on doing one of these, but I did two. That way we had more... Uh, opportunities to be able to you know discard arc light phoenix plus it's another one drop now sometimes you're going to be using maximum altitude to target their creatures because you don't have any so try to target one of theirs that are tapped um, and that way you can still you know trigger arc light and swing in for a bunch of damage and then the all start of this deck is merfolk secret keeper so merfolk secret keepers adventure counts towards the arc light phoenix trigger um, target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. Some of the best uh, plays that I've gotten off of Arena is turn one Merfolk and you uh, mill a Creeping Chill and a Narco Amoeba uh, and an Arclight Phoenix all in the same turn. So turn one, mill four, get Creeping Chill, they take three, you gain three, and you got a one one all for one mana. Um, we got four discoveries, dispersals in there, um, because this is uh, what makes this cool is it counts towards arc light, but you can also use this to force those cards that you want in the graveyard into the graveyard, like Narco Amoeba, Creeping Chill, um, stuff like that. So if you come up on those, you can put them both in the yard, and then it counts towards Drowned Secrets, it counts towards arc light. So, uh, so yeah, very very cool deck. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's unorthodox, but. It's definitely something that people usually don't see coming, and whenever you target yourself, one of the one of my favorite moves is targeting myself, and then uh, saying "oops" during <laughs> during my mill. So that way, you know, at first they think I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a deck that comes in and sneaks up on you, um, and it's a ton of fun to play. It is one of the most fun decks on Arena that I've played in a long time. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you got value out of this video, would you mind giving it a like for me? And uh, and leave us a comment below to, you know, let us know what you think about the deck, if it needs something, if it needs something taken out, um, all that kind of stuff. But more importantly, go and follow us on Twitch. We'll see you guys next time on MTG Alchemy.